Time to put those fuzzy pink handcuffs to use because GT Online Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC is coming June 25th. If you had asked me to guess what I thought the name of the DLC was going to be, never in a million guesses would I have thought it would be Bottom Dollar Bounties. Anywho, what's going on everyone? My name is DJCS and welcome to an all new video here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be discussing the trailer and the newswire for the upcoming DLC and giving my two cents. Not going to dive too much into this as this is days after and everyone and their mother has already done so. Sucks working a full-time job and being a full-time parent, but such is life. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. Let me know your two cents down in the comments. All your interactions help the video. So like I said, the DLC will be coming out on June 25th and shout out to this viewer who corrected me on my last video. I think what happened was originally Rockstar posted that it would be coming out next month, but then they changed it to this month. So when I read the newswire, I saw next month and then started to think when it could possibly come out. But then I took the screenshots and actually shot the video after they changed it to this month. And I didn't even register it as I was reading it. But in the very first shot of the trailer, blink and you'll miss it, we have three potentially new vehicles. A new Greenwood cop car variant or possibly a new livery and customization options. This vehicle right behind it looks new and sporty not even going to try to think of what that car is but it's very bright yellow can't miss it the van behind them looks like it could be a new livery for the burrito or new variant for the bounty business as it has the bottom dollar bounty bail enforcement on the side speaking of which right behind it the new property i do wonder if this will be the only location or just one of many since they normally do at least three or four locations with the exception of the arena wars i don't remember any other business being only one place this location is right next to the mission row police station which i can foresee there being lots of crazy shootouts going on if you're being chased by another player or something in a, in a, in a public lobby and the cops are outside there and then there's just a bunch of shootouts shoot, a lot a whole lot of shooting going on in this location we are introduced to jeanette eccles mod's daughter in one of our cutscenes, most likely uh right when we buy the property and enter it for the first time i think this is a new tattoo on the character's arm we get a better look at it in the newswire artwork i believe both tattoos are new but there are so many tats in the game it's hard to remember then there's a chase scene from the first person perspective and I wonder if this is a new cop car that they don't really want us to see just yet. We see two other cop cars that might be new. I'm not really a car guy so I couldn't tell you. When, uh, when it comes to cars I just say ooh pretty. We see them chasing three vehicles and at one point it looks like they're going to split up. Like this Obey looking vehicle over here on the left looks like it's going to turn left uh, while the other two go straight but in the next shot they're all going the same way. I don't really recognize these vehicles or at least deliveries on them. If they're cars we already have, then they must be getting a drift upgrade with some new liveries, maybe. But trailing them is the vehicle we were in first person mode looking out of a sheriff SUV, which I do believe is new or at least a new variant of an existing SUV. And when I say like a variant of an existing SUV, sometimes they will put these on like war stock because they're police versions of them so we'll have the normal version of a car of the vehicle and then we'll have the war stock variant version which will cost millions of dollars more so and we all know rockstar kind of love to do that in the next shot we're talking to Ma, most likely for the post-purchase cutscene uh before we meet jeanette mod is explaining some things about the business and mod has definitely come a long way from the trailer she lived in before when we saw her in story mode, she had this sleeveless shirt on with sweat all over her chest because she's sitting outside in that desert. But now she's cleaned up and looking professional and all. There's some info on her monitor. It just kind of breaks down the info on the bounties, priority, and status. Doesn't really give us any info on how much we'll get or how often we can do these bounty hunts. Mod mentions top tier personnel. So I don't know if she's referring to the potential upgrades for the business, much like gun running, biker businesses, etc., where we have to upgrade staff, equipment, and security. Or is she just referring to the people who have put out these bounties or the targets themselves? We see another shot of the burrito in our first look at the Pipistrello in motion. Seems like it's going to be another generic custom supercar, which is very disappointing. A player is inspecting what looks to be a prison jumpsuit. There's a dead guard or officer in the background, also with a prison bus that was transporting the prisoner. We can see handcuffs and a machete, I think that is, on the ground. 
So something definitely went down here and our character has to search for the clues and find the target's possible next location. The lighting on the van here is very odd. I don't know what it is. The sun maybe, but you really don't see it reflecting or affecting anything else in this shot. In the next shot, the player is either just capturing or bringing in a bounty who seems to be a wealthy one. So we will most likely have bounties of different economical status. Uh, and that will most likely affect the pay. So if it's going to be a, a wealthy person we're bringing in, maybe we'll, they'll have better security. So therefore they'll pay better for the bounty versus if it's somebody who's poor or whatever like that, it'll pay less because it's just going to be them and they'll be easier to capture. This shot where a player is shooting a rocket at this helicopter, I thought the front of the helicopter seemed weird. I don't remember the front of any helicopters in the game looking like that. It's kind of like see-through and almost like diamond shape in the tip of it there, but I don't really pay attention to how the helicopters look necessarily. Again, I'm just a guy who plays the game and I really have fun. I've been playing it for 11 years. I should notice these kinds of things, but I just have fun playing the game. The explosion transitions to a shot of a pounder or a mule driving next to some beefed up trucks. Again, I don't know if these are new or not. We see more interior shots of our bounty agency. This shot, this is likely an NPC, but one has to wonder if they were actually going to put to use the bounties that are put on players in public lobbies by other players. Doubtful, but this kind of looks like a player, not an NPC, but how would they figure in a player doing jail time? I don't know, it's just a thought. Honestly, since the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC, NPCs have gotten a little more stylish, so it's most likely an NPC. I just figured, what if? We get more dialogue from Mod. I feel like a majority of what we see cutscene wise in the trailer is from the very first time we enter and we most likely won't get any more cutscenes after that, maybe some phone calls and stuff. But I think most of the DLC will be the cars, then the cutscenes, then the missions and the free roam vigilante stuff as far as what fills out the size of the DLC. The cars are probably going to be the biggest thing. The Chop Shop is kind of a good example of how this DLC will probably be, but even less than that. The final shot, I believe, features three new civilian vehicles. The one we saw at the beginning in yellow, this time in a different color. The Pipistrella with a different livery and paint job as well as the Obey looking vehicle here. The trailer was only 30 seconds and didn't show much. This DLC will likely be very small in terms of content. As we take a look at the newswire, it states that Maude Eccles is entrusting her burning passion for justice to the next generation of bounty hunters and looking for someone to take over the bottom dollar bail enforcement, tracking down and dragging wrongdoers from all across Los Santos and Blaine County. So I wonder if Maude is retiring, taking off to Tahiti or something and leaving the business and her daughters in our hands. There's a little tidbit on the off the book vigilante missions we'll be doing for Vincent, but I'm curious to know if these can be done from any police vehicles, like the ones we already know or ones we could just find, you know, steal, whatever, or if they will be locked to new vehicles we will get in this DLC because that is something Rockstar may do. We'll find out all this information on June 5th. That is going to do it for this video. Not much else to talk about. A pretty lackluster DLC. I feel like Rockstar is just scraping the bins for content to put in GTA Online to keep people afloat until GTA 6 drops in over a year. This is all likely cut content from the alleged Cops and Crooks DLC. Where's the Michael DLC though? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, drop it a like. And if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified every time I drop a new video. I will be streaming this over on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description. Come on over, join us. We have fun and we love to have fun with you. With all that said and done, my name is DJCS. Have a good one, guys. And as always, don't forget to tip your DJ. Uh, later, dudes.